question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. And I call the member for Chisholm. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Acting Minister for Immigration, Citizenship, Migrant Services and Multicultural Affairs. Will the minister outline how the Morrison government is supporting all Australians, including multicultural communities, during the COVID-19 pandemic? And will the minister outline how our multicultural communities are contributing to a safe and united Australia, including in my electorate of Chisholm? The Minister for Immigration. <laughs> well, can I thank the member for Chisholm? for her question. The member for Chisholm is a tremendous Australian, such a great advocate for her community, including the great multicultural community in her electorate of Chisholm in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. Mr Speaker, the government is supporting Australians, including multicultural Australians, in unprecedented ways during this pandemic. $257 billion of economic support has been provided during this pandemic. And of course, just recently in the budget, we delivered further support, further tax relief for Australians, all Australians, 11 million, 11 million people who are um, earning money get to get tax relief, Mr Speaker. The job making hiring credit, which will support half a million Aussies into work, ongoing operation of JobKeeper and JobSeeker, of course, the incentives for businesses to invest and employ. We know so many in the multicultural community have initiated businesses um, in this country and do such a good job. Of course, Mr Speaker, we've also supported Australians, including multicultural Australians, um, through the tremendous health measures that we have put in place, and in particular the additional support for mental health, which has been so important um, during these very difficult times, and particularly in our home state of, of, of Victoria. Mr Speaker, for newer, newer Australians, there's particular, there's particular measures have been put in place. Um, better access to English language programs, for example, extra community support, um, and an increase in the number of partner visitors that we have put in place in this budget too. Yeah. Mr Speaker, last Friday, the Prime Minister and Assistant Minister and Wood, we met up with um, over 200 multicultural community leaders. We went through some of these measures which they were particularly interested in, particularly some of the economic measures. But we also used the opportunity to really say thank you to those multicultural communities and the leadership uh, which those individuals had shown. The Prime Minister, for example, as he is wont to do, uh, as, as he's frequently said, thanked particularly the Chinese communities for their tremendous efforts and really showing the way earlier on in the pandemic when they were, when they were coming back uh, from their holidays in China. But equally, we thank the communities for the way that they have supported their fellow Australians in unbelievable ways. So many different organisations have gone out of their way to raise funds for their fellow Australians, to cook meals for their fellow Australians. I note a couple in the member for Chisholm's own electorate, the Asian Business Association of Whitehorse, for example. It raised $40,000 from local businesses and groups to go towards medical equipment at the Great Box Hill Hospital, the Chinese Culture School of Australia also, right across this great the country, those multicultural communities. Concluded. The 